Wi-Fi clocks are great for schools, businesses, and government organizations. They are maintenance-free, and Wi-Fi clocks provide accurate, reliable, synchronized time. All the clocks within an organization display the same time. Let me show you how simple it is to configure a Wi-Fi clock to your Wi-Fi network. The first step is to open a browser on your computer. It can be any browser, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, whatever you normally use. Once you have the browser open, the next thing to do is apply power to your Wi-Fi clock, be it battery operated like the analog clocks or electric like the LED digital clock. When you apply power to a Wi-Fi clock, it opens up its own little hotspot. That hotspot allows you to go into the clock and configure it for your organization's own Wi-Fi network. Once power is applied to your clock, go to available Wi-Fi networks on your computer. You will see a network available that says innovation underscore, and in this case, 1631. If you click on that and join that Wi-Fi, you are now joined to that clock's little hotspot. Once you are connected to the network, next you're gonna type in on the address bar of your browser, 192.168.1.1. And hit return. When you do that, you'll be prompted to sign in with your username and password. Please refer to your quick start guide and put in the username and password. Hit return. And now you're into the clock's home page. It'll say, Welcome to IP Clock and have a time and the serial number of the clock. The first thing you want to do is go to Clock Settings. In Clock Settings, this is where you can name the clock. If you want to give the clock a specific name, you can do that right here. There's a clock number, and you can also indicate how many times you want the clock to sync with the network. This is really only applicable to electric clocks because battery clocks only connect to the network one time in a 24-hour period, so they can serve battery. Next, you'll put in your time zone and the city. Once you do that, you'll hit submit. Next, click on display settings. Display settings are really only applicable to an LED digital clock. The analog clock is what you see is what you get, right? An analog clock face. But a digital one, you can change to a 24-hour display or a 12-hour display. You can also have the clock display the date and time. So set up a brightness schedule for that clock to conserve energy. So if you had LEDs like in the hallway of a school, you could have from, let's say, 7 o'clock in the evening to 6 o'clock in the morning go on a very dim light so that they're not using as much electricity. The next tab is daylight savings time. You really don't have to do anything here if you're in the United States. If you're in London, you're going to set it up for British summertime, which is a different date than the daylight savings time in the United States. Next, click on network servers. Most of the time, you will not have to do anything. I would say 80% of our customers do not have to do anything on this page. On this page, we have populated nine trusted government sites. Every clock system needs an accurate, reliable time source. And these nine sites here are accurate, reliable, trusted sites. By default, this clock will go out and pull time from these sites. Now, if you had an internal NTP server, then all you need to do is get the IP address of that NTP server from your IT department and enter that, I, that IP address into the first server address, and then it will pull time from your internal NTP server. The final step is network settings. It is here that you will enter your SSID. Here, my SSID is test-IW. I also enter my password, and then I hit submit. After you hit submit, the next screen is called reconnection in progress. What this means is that the clock is dropping its 
internal hotspot, that innovation underscore 1631, which we used here to configure the clock. And now it is to your organization's Wi-Fi. Connecting, once it connects to your organization's Wi-Fi, then it will pull time from that internal NTP server or to one of those government time sources, and then the clock will display accurate, reliable time. This screen will stay as reconnection in progress because it has left the clock's Wi-Fi. The analog clocks connect to the Wi-Fi one time in a 24-hour period. There is no need for the, it to connect more than that. In fact, if it connects more than that, it's really just a waste of battery life. And we want the batteries to last a very long time. That's how simple it is to connect a Wi-Fi clock to your network. If you would like more information or a quick quote, please visit us at www.innovationwireless.com.